So I said flam accents, they're Swiss Army triplets. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up YouTube? Sorry I didn't see you there. We are back with another PayPal request. This one is for my buddy Eric Isaacson. Okay, I just thought of another one that's a bit different and thought you would dig it. French Canadian thrash legends, Voivod. They had something of a hit with their cover of Pink Floyd's psychedelic classic Astronomy Domine from their first album Piper at the Gates of Dawn. Which is a phenomenal track and Voivod do an excellent and faithful cover of it. I wrestled with sending that one but decided on a song from their previous album Dimension Hatros called Tribal Convictions. What is going on here Eric Isaacson? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna carry on. It starts out with an amazingly heavy tribalish intro with drummer Away, real name Michael Langvin, eating the hell out of his toms. And you think it's going to go a certain direction, hard and fast. That's what she said. Is what I expected. But then in typical artsy French fashion, the next, the next, <laughs> don't put any French things around here. Andrew, future Andrew on the edit, don't put any French things around here, it's insensitive. What are we up to? In typical artsy French fashion, the next section takes a left turn at Albuquerque and does something completely unexpected. Just gets heavier and thrashier as the song progresses. At a length of 441, That's what she said. You'd think it'd be the perfect length. That's what she said. But then the song is over and you're like, wait, that's it? That's what she said. Should be double that length. That's what she said. <laughs> Easily. Look, Eric, are you doing this on purpose? That's what she said. I do have a tendency. I'm your density. I do have a tendency to pick guitar heavy material. I am a guitarist, sorta, so that makes sense. So the guitars are up in the mix and sadly the drums aren't as distinct, but it's an amazing song, I think, and hope you will enjoy this. The official video is a bit muddy sounding, so I'm sending you an audio track. You may prefer to use Drumeo if you have it in there. <sighs> Eric, that's a hell of a comment uh, for the video, but I love it. I love your passion. I love your support. Let's check it out. You've built this up a lot, Eric. Love that reverby tom groove. Ooh, nice little open hi-hat splash. have to stop this i just want to see what era this is oh 1988 that changes things a little bit for me i didn't think it was going to be that old wow i kind of like this it's got a real demo i don't mean this in an offensive way hopefully it's got a bit of a garagey demo kind of quality to it 
actually kind of dig this. 1988. Interesting vocals. We trusted. That's the thrash thing. Oh, ba da 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 I really like these vocals. I like the whole thing. But I really like how raw and unprocessed and natural the vocals are. Sounds great to me. Really cool artwork there as well. Um, wow. Okay. Um, that was kind of not what I was expecting and not something that I would typically have on the channel, really. I mean, I, yeah, well, I guess I've had a few. Uh, it's really it's really hard to say these things without things sounding like a disc. Unpolished. In a good way. 1988, before the advent of samples I believe I don't know when samples became the thing for you know modern um, heavy rock and metal and stuff or uh, all music styles really um, you can hear that's a real drummer playing his off and you know real singing you know it's not pitch corrected tempos were changing and exciting literally never heard of this band in my life this is a type of video where i am just so stoked to get to a completely new band uh the previous reaction that i recorded was kiss now i don't listen to kiss okay i don't listen to kiss ever right but i am very very aware of kiss I know what Kiss is kind of about with the makeup and the outfits and putting on this great show and I'm familiar with a couple of their songs, you know, the hits. When I get something like this from you, Eric Isaacson, or whoever has requested it, this is something completely different. I have no frame of reference other than what you've told me and I'm just going in completely cold. 
So all I can do is just be honest and transparent and give you my feedback and tell you, I guess, you know, how I feel about it now and, and how I react to it. I really dig this. I really, really dig this. Again, it's a type of song. It's a group I, I reckon, I believe I would never have ever heard of this band or listened to them if it wasn't for doing these videos and for you guys. How cool is that? Think about that for a minute. That is super, super cool to me. I'm probably gonna, um, you know, put my foot in it here. There were certain parts there, I guess the thrashy parts, I guess all I can sort of relate it to from what I know is possibly it sounded quite Metallica-ish, not in terms of the vocal style or anything. It was just sort of, I guess, the, the guitar rhythms and the drum work reminiscent to me of Metallica. Now, I'm not saying they copied Metallica. It's probably a style thing from the era. So I could sort of latch onto that. But then there was all these different sections. Not dissimilar to my homeboys over at Black Sabbath. So could we draw a line from Sabbath to Voivod? I don't know. You guys hit me up. Any fans out there who are like, oh damn, I can't believe Voivod's on the channel. Great. Or maybe the opposite where people are like, dude, you don't know about this group? Come on. I don't know. You guys hit me up. I would love to hear your feedback. That was really, really interesting. Eric Isaacson, you always make great picks and interesting picks. So I knew it would be a, a good song and, a, and, you know, a good pick. But I'm kind of scared at how much <laughs> I'm starting to like this stuff. I'm becoming a metalhead. There's an authenticity about this music. Probably about metal. There is a authenticity about the fandom, the fans of this genre of music. Not this genre because it's too specific. I mean, in general, the heavier extreme genres that are perhaps a little bit underground. I don't know how popular Voivod is. Maybe they're not underground at all. Us against the big guy sort of mentality, I feel like. And it's like, nah, I'm going to back my boys. And, you know, it's like supporting a sports team of battlers as opposed to, you know, the big dogs. You know, I guess in the 90s, everyone wanted to support the Chicago Bulls, right? And, you know, all the kids got the hats and the Jordan singlet and, well, yeah, I mean, they're the best, right? I mean, that's an easy pick. And, you know, you're part of the gang straight away with all the other Jordan Chicago Bulls fans. It's kind of supporting the underdog. That's what it feels like. And I, I think that's where the whole metal lifers thing is of just like you know i support my my guys and my my metal crew because you know it's not taylor swift it's not gonna sell out a stadium and you know you're gonna make millions and billions of dollars it's just not that type of music you know some people will dismiss it and go oh, it's just noise listen there was some proper serious playing there the drumming was phenomenal the sound i mean although it was a little bit lo-fi the sound he was getting on those, those snare hits really really even some great ideas beautiful cymbal work the orchestration around the different parts through the different sections <laughs> amazing hey i really dug that I'm just going to come back to something that you said here, Eric Isaacson, and your message, because this, I guess it puts it in perspective for me. It starts out with an amazingly heavy tribalish intro with the drummer Michael Langvin uh, eating the hell. I don't know if that's supposed to be beating, eating the hell out of his toms. And you think it's going to go in a certain direction, hard and fast. And then in typical artsy French fashion, the next section takes a left turn and does something completely unexpected yeah and then it just gets heavier and thrashier as the song progresses yep well said and even here you've said um at 4:43, you think it would be the perfect length but then the song is over and you're like wait that's it that is that sums up exactly how i feel 
It was too short. That's what she said. I wanted more of that. And I think I'm going to have to check out more of this group. So Eric Isaacson, thank you so much for your support of the channel and this very, very interesting pick. Guys, hit me in the comments. I need to know more about this group. If you're a fan of the band, hit me in the comments. Anything you want, info, hit me. Until next time, guys, take care. Keep chopping wood. Ciao. Hey, what is up, wood choppers? Please do remember original video links, as always, in the description of each video. Please do go along, check it out, and support the artist. If you enjoy my channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button, like button, and leaving a comment down below with what you thought of this video and what you would like me to check out in the future. If you would like to support my channel further, I do have a Patreon. It's just $5 a month and you will get access to the blocked videos. If you have a reaction request that you definitely want to get on the channel, the only way I can guarantee that at this point is via the PayPal link and it supports the channel. So thanks in advance. And remember you as a subscriber of my channel, you get access to a full and free 30 day trial over at Drumio. Learn from the world's best drummers and drum teachers. And they've got over 6,000 songs in the database downloadable PDFs for those transcriptions, or you can play along, watch in the player, slow down loop sections. It is truly awesome. Go check it out. 30 days free on me. Guys, until next time, keep chopping wood. Take it easy. Ciao.